So here's something interesting. I think I understand a little bit more about why the OSG titles are so popular. There's a commonality that is readily apparent between the command systems, the movement systems, the supply systems, and indeed the combat systems. And it's only at the, the lowest level, at the 400 yard per hex level, that I think the Napoleonic Library of Battles, it's called, which has several volumes. Uh, all these systems have, uh, although there are different scales, they use the same, I guess the word is the same mechanics. And that makes moving from one system to another pretty darn easy. Uh, the command uh, process and style is almost identical across the, uh, I think there's three different systems. And the two that I own at the moment uh, both appear to be uh, very, very similar. And the, uh, and, and, and I may have questions or issues with that in the future once I play the lower level tactical stuff. I don't know yet, but uh, because I'm not sure how that is going to necessarily apply, whether the same type of command structure is going to be relevant and suitable at two very disparate scales, 400 meters or 400 yards a hex versus 1600 yards a hex or thereabouts uh, is pretty significant. But the combat is uh, similar, less deadly in the more detailed tactical level, lots of to and fro and retreating, which, you know, it's the same problem, well, same, same result here. It's not necessarily a problem. I, my last video, I was bitching about it. I know these battles are to and fro, but I also know that there was a lot of, uh, a lot of death and carnage and a lot of uh, units morale broke uh, on occasion. And when they broke, there was a significant impact and what I don't see in either of the systems yet is the, the impact of being demoralized being significant or in fact being out of supply being significant. It, it's really just modifying your ability to move and your ability to advance after combat. Now, it may be that not being able to move is more than enough in these games as we get further into them. Anyway, I just it's just an observation and I thought I'd share that with you. I think it's very, very cool that a uh, kind of overarching system-wide approach to, uh, I guess you would probably call it operational down to tactical, we can use the same basic rule set with obviously some line of sight built into the tactical level and uh, uh, more specific and discrete rules for cavalry uh, but uh, and grand batteries, uh, for instance, as well at the tactical level. But at the higher level, you know, same rule set, just a different, a slightly different combat uh, situation. So uh, all very interesting, and uh, we're continuing to plug away here. We're getting close to the end of the 13th of October. We'll talk to you soon.